please. Okay. Thank you. You told us that you always wanted to come to Japan for yes. wrestling. Yes. What What is so special about New Japan for you? Uh, I remember, so in Canada, we only got WWF. Um, and then in 1992, a friend of mine got a satellite dish, and he got a WCW pay-per-view. And on that WCW pay-per-view, they had uh, Dr. Dusty Williams and Terry Gordy, as well as uh, Hase and Hashimoto. And I remember watching them, and just it looked different, but different in a good way. Like, it was a lot different wrestling style than what I was used to growing up. And uh, soon after that, we started, like, my friend's brother always ordered, like, wrestling magazines, and they would have, like, send checks to here, and we'll send you videotapes, and they have, like, a lot of Japanese wrestling. So we started watching it at a really young age, and it just seemed like it was more real and, like, it was more of a sport than what, you know, the U.S. audiences and U.S. wrestlers kind of perceive it as. And, uh... I liked wrestling more so for the athleticism of it, you know, like growing up when I was really young, of course, I liked like the Hulk Hogan's and stuff because at that age, that's who you liked. But I remember being like six years old and seeing, you know, the British Bulldogs and the Rockers and Bret Hart and Ricky Steamboat and Randy Savage wrestle. And those guys became my favorites because it was their wrestling. And in Japan, like very rare to find a wrestler, especially in the bigger companies, that's not good. So... Just seeing them wrestle was a total different thing to me and it was always where I wanted to be. And I always felt my style was a lot more suited for Japan than the United States. Like, um, I think people sometimes in the States try too hard to be something they're not. And you can see that. I mean, obviously there's the, there's the guys who are themselves and it's worked, but you're trying to get that little extra thing in the States for people to connect to you and it's just not who you are as a person and you know who I am as a person is who I represent as a wrestler. So I think that the Japanese crowd and the Japanese wrestling fans and companies appreciate that kind of style more so than the over-the-top flamboyant style. Hi. <laughs> what you're saying it's better just to put all meat on this plate? I don't know that I would really trust sushimi in the in the states. I don't know why, but I don't think I would eat it the state side. Sushi's okay, but I don't know if there's something about eating sushimi in the states that's just not the same. How is it? Good. Really good.
just got to change it. So this is like the big shopping area in Sapporo? Yes. Yeah. Here you can see, this is my son Jax. Uh, I haven't had too much time home in the last couple months. Uh, my wife actually sent me this picture today. As you can see, he's sitting at home playing with his wrestling action figures, much like I used to when I was his age growing up. Uh, and today I'm gonna go try to find him some clothes or something to take home to him. As I said, it's uh, it's been a long couple months and only had a few days home, so I'm missing him and I'm glad that I get to look at these pictures. This is my wife and baby. Uh, I think we got some, yeah, him with the Tanahashi bear. He's, he's pinning Tanahashi there, so. Um, just pictures of him, this all the pictures my wife sends when, when I'm on the road, so. Yeah, I think that's funny. I think the wife would like it too. Size. Yeah, the size says 70 to 80 centimeters. So it should fit him. He's getting a little chubby, but... Yeah, I think I like that. <laughs> I like the overalls, but uh, what sold it for me was this little tail here, because I think the wife will like it, and uh, I think it's cute, especially, you know, a little kid running around with a tail looking like that, so uh, I think it will look good on Jax, and I'm hoping the wife likes it just as much as I do. Okay. Thank you.